What's going on everybody? This is Castle Perfect and today I'm bringing you another live commentated Wi-Fi battle. It's been a while, it's been a couple of days and it has to do with the fact that my life has been thrown upside down because a lot of things have happened. Uh, you know, the grandmother of my girlfriend passed away and stuff like that, you know. Uh, homework from school for next week, uh, friends, you name it. Uh, but um, today I have time to make a couple of videos for you guys and uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be battling Marky, which is going to be one uh, Twitter follower that I have. Uh, on Twitter, his name is Magic Marky07. Uh, I will put the link down in the description if you guys want to check out his Twitter. And other than that, guys, the team that I'm bringing today is quite diverse uh, because I'm using a couple of Pokémon that you don't see often on the uh, online battles, battle scene, and uh, they are actually pretty cool. I had a battle here before this one, which was not live rec uh, recorded. It was just a normal, regular bat battle. And uh, they work like a charm, so hopefully in this battle, things go the way I am hoping them to go. Uh, and, um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, and this is quite taking a long, a long time here. Communicating, please wait a moment. Well, of course I'll be waiting. Because, let me turn off my phone. Uh, well, not turn on my phone, I mean just lower the volume because people absolutely love to send me messages whenever I'm battling. And, uh, alright, so the battle is about to start, let me change the music to 3. I don't know what music that is, but, um, uh, the pokes that I'm gonna be using for this battle, by the way, are uh, Milotic, uh, Molly, the shiny uh, Dom fan, which is an absolute beast. I'm gonna be using a Raticate, I'm gonna be using a Pikachu, and a Venomoth, and as last Pokemon, Fictini, uh, for that uh, extra accuracy boost which I'm absolutely gonna be needing because of sleep powder <laughs> on Phenomoth. But um, I'm gonna take a, a picture real quick if you guys don't mind. Give me a sec. Take a picture of his team. It's blurry. Seriously, I can't stand when the camera is so blurry and I don't know why. All right, one more time, let's try this. All right, cool, so got the picture. I am ready to battle. I am ready to battle Marky, and uh, hopefully things go the way that I'm expecting them to. And he said he's using some, um, what was it again? Lesser used Pokemon, and Excadrill is absolutely not uh, less used. It's one of the most OP used Pokemon out there. Jirachi is also one of the most OP. And uh, Salamence is very OP used. Uh, Keldeo, I, like, I have like battled Keldeo like two times, uh, but that's about it. But um, anyways, let's go ahead and continue here. Um, looking at his team, I'd say that, uh, well, it's a pretty balanced team. Uh, Smeargle for the lead. Uh, Mega Evolution Pinsir. We got the Pot of Flinch and Jirachi. Excadrill, the Rapid Spinner. Salamence, the Dragon Dancer. And Keldeo, possibly choiced in some way. I have no idea. Like I said, I've only battled this Pokemon like two or three times. I have no time left, so I'm going to lead off with Pikachu here. Gotta hurry. Four seconds left. <laughs> All right, so got it. So got it. I'm gonna lead up with Pikachu specifically because I'm thinking that he will lead up with his um, Smeargle, and if that's going to be the case, I'm gonna fake out that Smeargle, get rid of his Focus Sash, and continue to break Havoc with a Fold Tackle, and possibly take him out if he doesn't predict that and goes out into Excadrill. There is a lot of possibilities that um, you know that there are in this game. There is a lot of things that can happen that you cannot expect or you do not expect so uh, I don't know what's going on but I think that the connection is a little bit blurry um, uh, okay wait my screen is turned to 3d there that's better um, alright so there's there's Pikachu there's Pikachu and it's gonna let up with this miracle just like I anticipated which is gonna be good I'm just gonna go for the fake out and uh, once again like the, the connection is not really as good as it's supposed to be it's really really lagging Gonna go for the fake out. Perfect. Now I can go either for the full tackle or the knockoff, but I am going to be smart and I'm going to be predicting the switch into his Excadrill. And I am basically going to go for the knockoff. Because I think the knockoff will knock down the uh, Smeargle from this range, I'm pretty sure. And I am holding the light ball, so uh, I think that I get a 50% boost on attack uh, and uh, special attack, or maybe that stats. Those stats are actually doubled, I'm not sure. Um, let me just go ahead and double check that. 
All right, just like I anticipated, he's gonna predict this the, the electric type attack. I'm gonna go out into extra. I'm gonna go for a knockoff right there, and he does a lot of damage. Soft sand is actually knocked off. All right, I don't see soft sand on Excadrill that often, to be honest with you guys. Another knockoff will not be sufficient to take him down, unfortunately. So I'll be forced to switch out. But um, before I do anything else, I would like to like take a look at the light ball. All right, so light ball five percent. Okay, let me. Just click on that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. So when this item is held by Pikachu, the holder's attack and special attack is doubled. Wow, that's crazy. That's that's amazing. That makes Pikachu one of the most powerful Pokémon's out there. <laughs> no joke. All right. So I'm gonna switch out into Molly here because I'm I'm thinking that he will just go for an earthquake, or he might uh, predict my switch and double switch back into Smeargle to set up the hazards. I am not sure. But um, in comes the shiny Donphan, the Molly. Molly is a monster. Molly will take that earthquake like a beast. And he does. Great job there, Molly. Um, Alright, so it's time to predict again. Uh, going for an earthquake is not really recommended. Seeing as how he has a Salamence with uh, possibly Intimidate. So I'm guessing that um, setting up the rocks would be a good thing. But... Um, I'm not sure. I don't think that he will stay in on that on that um, or obvious earthquake. So, or I could go for another knockoff. Yeah, that would be a good thing. But I want to set up the rocks too. But it's really not that necessary. Well, it actually it is necessary though. Uh, now that I think about it, Salamence and Pinsir are not gonna be liking the rocks. But I'm, I want to go for a knockoff too. Well, whatever the case, I'm just gonna set up the stealth rocks just uh, for safety purposes and uh, see where I can get with this kind of place. Now that Excadrill is gonna switch out and uh, he is going to bring out the Keldeo. I should have gone for the knockoff though. <laughs> now I shouldn't have because I think that he has justified his ability. Meaning that he gets a plus one attack or special attack. Oh my god, I haven't played Pokemon in a while. A couple of days, I forget quite a lot of things. So I'm gonna switch out again into my Lodic because my Lodic is my especially defensive wall, or actually tank, because she can retaliate with Scald and Ice Beam and stuff like that. And uh, Keldeo is known for its amazing special attack, I think. So he's gonna go for a Hydro Pump. Perfect. I'm gonna be able to resist that, and um, you know, wow, that's 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 wow. He's he's got Life Orb. He's got Life Orb. Uh, Keldeo with Life Orb is pretty dangerous, I gotta say. Um, I think that usually they are they, they run Icy Wind, Sacred Sword, Hydro Pump, maybe Substitute or Calm Mind. I am not sure. I, I'll be honest with you guys, I have not that much knowledge about Keldeo. Because once again, I don't face them that often. So I have no idea. And this is, by the way, the Resolute form, I think. Yeah, that's the Resolute form. I'm gonna scroll down here on Cerebi.net and double check those stats. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Resolute form is, is nuts. Um, there's not no stat changes. What the hell? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Uh, whatever the case, I I need to make a play right now. Um, what should I do? What would be a good 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 move? Um, I think that um, I am just going to go for a scold. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the scold here. It doesn't matter what comes in. I really don't care. So he's gonna go for the Sacred Sword. It is actually a mix sweeper. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Holy shit, man! Oh my god! Excuse my language, though. I, I was surprised. Yeah, get that burn. Get that burn, babe. Get that burn. Oh, perfect! That's what I'm talking about, Melodic. You are a beast. Beautiful, beautiful beast. Beautiful water snake. You're awesome. All right, so got that nice burn on the um, Keldeo. Uh, the problem is he's still holding a life orb, so I, I think that he will still be able to kill me, and I don't want to sacrifice my Lodic just yet. But I don't think that I'll have another um, chance to like recover up. So, hmm, interesting. I think that I'll be, a, you know, switching out is really not smart because Keldeo can do both things. It can attack on the special on the special side, and it can also deal damage on the physical side. So. If I'll be honest with you guys, the best thing that I can possibly do at this point would be staying in, hoping that he goes for the Hydro Pump predicting the switch, or maybe um, I'll be lucky and I'll survive another Sacred Sword. 
I'm just gonna go for the rest though. Hopefully something happens here. Come on, come on, come on. Leave through that sacred sword. I don't think I will, but um, it, it would be awesome. I don't, unfortunately. Um, I really don't. That's unfortunate. Uh, but the Keldeus Burn, uh, the Sacred Sword is really not going to do that much damage. And Residual Damage is really taking a toll on uh, that Keldeo. So, um, I need something fast. Because Keldeo himself is pretty fast, pretty speed. 346 max speed, 108 base speed. Um, Alright, I need something fast. So I think that I'll send out my Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu's not fast enough to outspeed him, that that much I know, but um, I have access to Fake Out. And, um, or maybe I should send out Raticate. Hmm. Um, okay, wait a second. Raticate, what's up? Raticate. I'm gonna be checking his speed. Okay, so I'm still slower, which is really, really annoying. Um... Yeah, this is actually really annoying. I can't, I can't really like make a choice right now, uh, because I know that if I go out into Pikachu and I go for the fake out, he'll predict that and go out into his um, Escadrille, and I'm not sure if Knockoff will kill them from that range. So I'm guessing that um, going out into Raticate would be the perfect thing to do at this point. I mean, I'm just gonna protect, get some more damage going on on the Kaleo, and then go for a Sucker Punch and basically finish him off. If it works like that, I'm not sure if he's going to switch or whatever. I'm just gonna go for the protect. And uh, he might predict that though, because Raticate is uh, a very, very known, well known Pokemon from the fifth generation, I believe. It was a very good Pokemon with uh, Flame War and Guts. And it also has access to Sucker Punch, which is, by the way, a priority move. Alright, so it's gonna switch out really, really bad play on my part. I should have seen that coming, but um, it's okay. In comes this thing, and uh, the stones is gonna duck onto him, which is good. And uh, protect is gonna fail, unfortunately. Um, but I believe that I am faster, so I am just going to go for. I mean, I don't know. Facade will is double damage right now. Uh, it's really powerful. It's stabbed, and uh, I don't know. A sucker punch is not resisted. But he might just go for something, no, he will definitely attack me, that much I know. He wants to get rid of the Stealth Rock, so he will just go for the Rapid Spin. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch, I think. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, guys. I, I have no idea. Well, okay, I'm just gonna go for the Sucker Punch and see what happens. Alright, there goes the Sucker Punch, so he's gonna attack me. And it does take him out, which is absolutely awesome. So he has no way of getting rid of the Stealth Rocks anymore. And Raticate just got his first kill. Well, well no, realistically, I think this is his second or third kill. Because like I said at the beginning of this battle, I had a battle before this one, uh, which I did not record it live. But um, it was absolutely a good battle. I should have recorded it live. But um, Raticate did some good, good job. It, it, he did some amazing, he put up some amazing work. Um, back then so Pinsir is by nature slower but the thing is if he's gonna make a evolve here he's gonna get that uh, aerial light and he might just go for the quick attack and finish me off I don't know if it's if it's actually strong enough to take me down because I'm almost at full HP but I am absolutely certain that I will find out just in a sec I'm gonna stay and I'm just gonna go for the facade um, see what happens really I just need to find out um, I just need to leave through these kind of experiences because then I get to learn if uh, for future references whenever I'm up against another pincer like I said guys I am predicting a quick attack from my aerial late mega pincer and uh, that's gonna do a lot of damage alright in comes the uh, quick attack I'm not sure if it's gonna kill but we will find out it doesn't kill facade is going to oh my god Raticate just took down a freaking mega pincer you go raticate you go man oh my god <laughs> see that's why I like raticate raticate is really really a good Pokemon uh, it, it's really something it's it's really something else guys I'll be honest with you guys it's something else and uh, I believe that I'm faster than this thing so I'm just gonna go for um, I'm gonna go for the facade here 
And uh, that's gonna be it. Raticate gets uh, three kills in this battle. Unbelievable. This is unreal. Smirko goes down. He doesn't get to set up any hazards. Wow, Raticate really is doing something in this battle. Amazing, really. Alright, so he's got um, what I believe is going to be uh, his Jirachi, Salamence, and Keldio left. Um, I don't know what to switch out into. Uh, I think that um, I'll be better off sending out Pikachu. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up Pikachu here because I have that priority fake out. And I can always knock off something else. So he's gonna bring out Rechart. Which is going to be the Solomon. It's gonna get damaged by the Stealth Rocks, which is good. And I don't see the Intimidate, so I am guessing that this Solomon is going to be a Moxie Solomon. So uh, I'm going to go for the Fake Out here and um, deal a little bit of damage before I continue to do, or I continue to use powerful attacks like Fall Tackle and stuff. So there goes the Fake Out. It does. Well, it does quite a lot of damage, to be honest with you guys. I am not sure if this um, Salamence is um, Jolly Nature, but if it is Adam and Nature, or maybe Modus for that matter, um, then I'll be able to outspeed. I'm not going to go for the Quick Attack. I'm really going to go for the Fall Tackle. Nah, that's... that's Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go for the Fall Tackle. No. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the full tackle. I'm not going to doubt this too much. I'm just going to do it and find out what happens. So he is faster. He's jolly nature. He's gonna go for the dragon claw. He's gonna take me out. Uh, unfortunately, statics does not activate. Oh my god, he gets that moxie boost. All right, so that's scary. That's really scary. Um, Girachi is uh, or Fictini, sorry. Um, how fast is Victini though? Is Solomon's actually faster than Victini? I'm not sure. Let's just go ahead and find out. Um, blah, blah, blah. Solomon's is over here. So Solomon's has a base speed of 100, 328 max. And uh, Victini has. Alright. Victini has a base speed of 100 as well. Okay, so it's gonna be a speed tie. And I am not going to risk that. I'm just going to bring out Molly here. And I am going to scare him out with an Ice Shard. That's like the only thing that I can do at this point, really. The only thing that I can do at this point is that. I'm going to scare him out with Ice Shard. He will probably switch out into Jirachi. And when he does that, I'm going to go for the knockoff. Oh, so he's going to stay in, though. He's gonna go for the Dragon Claw, he's gonna do a lot of damage, but Molly's gonna hang on with 75 HP and knock off that item. It's Choice Scarfed, are you serious? Wow, that's, that's, I did, I did not see that coming though, I really thought it was Jolly Nature or something. But, um, that's cool, the connection is, you know, lagging right now. Okay, so I can choose my move now. I'm just gonna go for an Ice Shard now, and you'll probably predict that, and I don't care about that really. I just need to play it safe now. I should have gone for the Ice Shard on the very beginning, but um, I guess that um, sometimes I make misplays. I thought it would switch, but that was not the case. Well, Ice Shard is going to take down the Solomons now, which is perfect. And um, I believe he only has two Pokemon left. But man, I will never forget that Raticate, man. Oh my god, so much work. For such, for such a small rat. Like, really. It's just the Raticate. It just took down a Mega Pinsir. Are you serious? <laughs> That's crazy. So in comes Keldio again. The burned Keldio. And uh, what to do? Good question. Uh, you know the thing is, is that I need 15 for Jirachi. Because otherwise I will not be able to win this battle. And uh, I need Molly for Excadrill. So Phenomoth, unfortunately, will have to die now, because an Ice Shard will not do sufficient damage. I really need to save Molly and Fictini against this guy, really. So I'm gonna switch out into uh, Phenomoth here, and he'll probably just go for the Hydro Pump. That would make the most sense, actually. 
All right, so there goes the Hydro Pump. Shiny Venomoth is going to die, I think. Oh, I live with one HP. Oh my god, I forgot about the Focus Sash. I'm such a moron. But that's fine, because... <laughs> Keldy is gonna go down by the next turn, which is great. I am not gonna be faster than this thing, unfortunately, but um, it's okay. You know what would be funny if I do predict the Sacred Sword and just go back into back out into Molly. But um, I'm, I'm really not gonna risk that. I'm just going to go for the Bug Boss here. And uh, he's gonna take me out because, of course, Kaleo has a higher base speed. And uh, I go down by AC Wind, or Icy Wind, sorry. He gets a crit, which doesn't matter because I only had 1 HP left, so doesn't matter what he had gone for, I would have died anyway. Alright, so down goes Keldio, and uh, this fun team that I just put together uh, is really doing something really, really amazing. And I'm very glad that I put these guys together. So, um, his last Pokemon is going to be uh, his Jirachi, and um, I'm gonna bring out Fictini. Alright, so it's one of those like, legendary versus legendary situation here. And uh, communicating, please stand by. <laughs> Hope you guys are enjoying this battle just as much as I am because I just came back from a hell, from a nightmare. But uh, and uh, you know, games like this they cheer me up. It's really amazing. So, for those of you who have never seen this face-off before, Fictini versus Jirachi, who is going to win this battle? Fictriet for the win. Let's see where we where it gets us. I outspeed, which is great. Figriate is uh, base 180, it's stab, and it's super effective, and it takes down the Jirachi in one blow, <laughs> holy shit, <laughs> oh, outstanding match, outstanding, thank you guys very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this live commentated Wi-Fi battle, remember to drop a like on this video if you support the series, if you support me, if you support my channel, you want us, and you want to see us go forward, and uh, you know get there at some point and uh, other than that guys I'll talk to you guys later remember to follow me on Twitter though because the link will be down in the description and the same goes for my Facebook account so anyways guys thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later